What's up guys? So I'm out here working on my 2010 Chevy Malibu 2.4 liter. It has this really odd engine sort of, I don't know, throttle issue. The RPMs kick up a little bit like 25-50 RPMs at idle. Sometimes it hesitates when accelerating and you know you can just feel like little rocks in it sometimes too when you have just a little throttle on you're not fully off the throttle while cruising at speed you got a little throttle just to like maintain the speed you're at so i originally got a check engine light for misfire on cylinder one and the knock sensor so we cleared those codes put in new spark plugs and did a coil pack on cylinder one uh, middle of this week, I think Tuesday, the check engine light came back on for misfire on cylinder one. So I was doing some digging around YouTube for these sort of symptoms and along with the symptom of service ESC and service traction come on while just sitting at idle sometimes. So I looked around and there was basically one video where a guy pointed out like the engine covers the problem, it's leaking air. So I swapped it out with these parts that cost me like 40 bucks from the auto parts store and it works. He didn't show how to do it, he didn't show, sorry, train, <coughs> two Black Hawk helicopters, it looks like, or military helicopters at least. So he didn't show how to do it, what to do, or what the parts were so i did some digging figured it out and now i'm gonna see if this solves yesterday, my problem yesterday i tried recording a video on the work i did and just didn't work out right so i'm gonna give you a quick little recap of what i did first thing i did yesterday was pop off the engine cover here the engine cover acts as the intake hose so there is a hose clamp right here that you need to remove and one that attaches to the throttle body that's underneath. Right here there's a little cutout. You can actually see underneath, and I don't think you can, so you can see my finger right there, or your bolt I should say. So you can actually slide an extension through and connect it while seeing it. So that's a pretty cool feature that I had no idea was there. So, I started on the job with replacing the engine cover with some intake. Alright, so in order to get everything together how I wanted, I actually had to pull this out a bit. Just because it was getting to be a little hectic trying to line everything up. But, now I have the tentative way I want it, so I'm going to connect these two. These O-rings are a pain in the butt, that's for sure. And there's a little tab bring that right here that helps keep the two pieces aligned when you put it in. That likes to move around on you while you're trying to put this together. So just be aware of that. good right there. So now we're going to tighten it. Um, this appears to use, it says a 532nd um, Allen key. It's so one trick my dad taught me was, you know, give a little WD as a lubricant. It's not going to hurt anything, but it will help everything slide on nicely and not you know damage everything especially with these being plastic the last piece we need to do is get this vacuum hose over and probably should just get another piece of hose 
All right, so I had to do some finagling real quick and move around this hose to connect it to my vacuum. I mean, everything's tightened down now. I'm not going overly tight. This is the O-ring and this is all pulled together. And I don't want to crack anything, it is just plastic. All redone up. I moved this hose. So it's rerouted now from kind of straight down. It used to come um, over this way and connect like basically right about here on the engine cover. Let's see one final check. Everything's hooked up, everything's tightened. I don't see anything left behind. Oil cap's on. It's good to remember when you take the engine cover off, you have to take that oil cap off. All right, started. So that's a good sign. That's no good. Same power engine reduced. Something's not right. Now let's go dig into that. All right, so that was a little bit scary, not gonna lie. So I ended up throwing a bunch of codes, like four different codes. I cleared them and then I threw a single code, P2176 which is the, has to deal with the throttle body and it not knowing its idle position. So I actually did a quick Google search and found a video where a guy basically says, hey, throttle body was dirty. I had this on a Buick Enclave. Throttle body was dirty. So I was like, all right, I mean, it's not gonna hurt. I go check, pull off the air hose. One of the O-rings when I was adjusting things came loose and got sucked in and got stuck in the th on the throttle body plate, thankfully, because that would have been bad if that got sucked into the engine. Um, so I was able to remove the O-ring, started the car up, everything's good. I know exactly which O-ring it was, and I, I tried to test it, and I should have just taken everything apart. Um, not test, I tried to check it, because I knew, I had a feeling that it dislodged, I should have stuck with my gut instinct and just taken everything apart and spent the extra five minutes. Thankfully, no harm, no foul, but that could have been bad. So, not throwing any codes. It's revving good. It's idling good. So we're gonna go take it for a test drive. See how it goes. So, just got back after picking up dinner and driving the car for a bit. And none of the symptoms I was experiencing before the like sort of shutter of the engine while it was idling, some hesitations in the acceleration are happening. So fingers crossed, this looks like it might have been the fix. And really that, you know, $40 coil pack we put in probably didn't need to be put in. So I'll keep driving this, obviously. It's the only car I have right now, but we'll see how it goes and hopefully uh, this problem is solved. I'll catch you guys later. And if this video helps you out, just let me know in the comments below because I would really appreciate hearing that this had helped someone.